My name is Aaron Bratu and I'm an Ole Miss engineer. My name is Karanti Kadaru and I'm an Ole Miss engineer. My name is Jay Gasbell and I'm an Ole Miss engineer. Actually, I have applied to only one school and that's Ole Miss. Uh, I thought this program was perfect for me because of the small student body. I thought our uh, professors would actually care for their students because of the small size. And also I like the college town environment of Oxford and, the, and, and Ole Miss has a, has a beautiful campus. My passion for electronics started very early from my middle school. Uh, I was always curious how our electronics work, the, the circuits, everything like really fascinated me. Like, I, I actually broke broke my own RC car just to see how it actually worked. I couldn't figure it out, but I, it it uh, it made me learn what I want to major in in future. And I want I want to be a robotics engineer. So during high school, I did summer college, um, and those two years really gave me a good feel for the campus and the heart of Oxford and Ole Miss. And I just fell in love with it, and I knew that there was no place I would rather go. So I've always really loved math, and then while I was doing summer college at Ole Miss, I fell in love with computer science and electronics and basically just everything that electrical engineering encompasses. So it was really the only option for me. When I took my campus visit to Ole Miss, uh, I noticed like the excitement on campus, all the ambassadors were just really energetic about the school, really loved talking about it, and just the feeling of being on this campus is kind of exactly what I expected a college campus to look like, you know, and, and at the end of the day, I got to look at some of the facilities, tour some of the labs here, and I was just really impressed by what we had, all the research going on. And by the time I left, before I even got in the car, I looked over my mom, I was like, this is where I'm gonna go. Growing up, I was like kind of curious about modern technology. You know, we all have our cell phones and computers, but I uh, wanted to understand those things more and also, you know, create and, and build things. And in order to do that, I thought electrical engineering was the correct pathway. I would say it's a theory of control fields with Dr. Daigle. It's the hardest class I've taken on campus. That's pretty much the entire semester. That assignments really helped me learn the most. So it was, I, I liked it because it was challenging and that's why it was my favorite class. We're actually in the microprocessor labs and that, that was my favorite class was because we got to sit down and actually understand some of these things and, and build and create uh, different things, play with LEDs and design and that was really a fun experience for me. My favorite class so far has probably been linear systems. I'm a huge math nerd so it's all just math and calculus and differential equations and I'm in love with it. I'm doing my senior design with Dr. Morrison. It's uh, building, a, uh, building a security device for our IoT home network. We have been working with Dr. Daigle's past students and Dr. Morrison's contacts and trying to uh, secure home networks. Now I'm working on my senior thesis and what that is is an fMRI compatible vibrotactile skin stimulator. Um, so what Dr. Goggins has uh, come up with is a skin stimulator that gives you feedback for someone who stutters and so what that does is mimics the path of normal feedback that someone who stutters is lacking and they found that the device works about 80% of people that use it see an improvement and have little or no stuttering. So what I'm working on is this uh, fMRI compatible version of that in hopes that the brain can be monitored under an fMRI and if so, it could lead to the cure for stuttering. My freshman and sophomore year, I did research under a couple of professors in electrical engineering for NASA on deep space communication and wireless communication, focusing particularly on um, packet loss and error correction. And then now I'm starting my undergraduate thesis, which will be um, studying neural prosthetics and the applications of machine learning and data analytics to those. After my sophomore year, I got to work with ABB in Cenotopia, and there I was doing uh, quality engineering testing products. I had to work with my hands and debug things and fix faulty products. And then uh, at Dynetics this summer, I was working on a radar simulation algorithm. Uh, taking it from MATLAB and moving it to GPU-enabled CUDA C++, and that was a really fun experience too. So this past summer, I interned with Seaspire Wireless down in Richland, Mississippi in their data analytics department, and so I got a lot of experience with um, LTE network data, and wireless communications is a huge topic in electrical engineering, so it was a great experience for me. I'm planning to work in a manufacturing firm as a controls engineer or a robotics engineer, but I'm also con considering graduate school options if I get any better scholarships or better programs and then I'm planning to do an MBA. 
So after I graduate, I plan on going to graduate school. Um, my honors thesis, neural prosthetics, is something that I'm extremely passionate about and it's something that's very personal to me. So I want to study that and pursue it as a full-time career later in life. So right now I'm looking at graduate school in electrical engineering. I really enjoyed the undergraduate experience and have learned a lot, but I plan to further that education. Um, and from there, we'll be looking for full-time work. Engineering is hard, it's not easy, but in the end, it'll be worth it. Every semester, you may feel like, I, I should have picked any other major, it would have been a lot easier on me, but at the same time, you gotta look at the bigger picture and, all, and never lose your focus on your final destination. Take everything as a learning experience. The good things, the bad things, the kind of meh things that you don't think really matter, but everything is important. Um, everything can, everything has a lesson and you can always take something out of it. There's no limit to your uh, capabilities here. There's no, don't limit yourself to what you can do. There's so many options. Uh, talk to your professors and find out what they're researching on. Find out what facilities we have here. There's a lot of things that I didn't know coming in that uh, I'd love to have known when I started.